All right, we're out here day one of practice on Table Rock for the Toyota Series Championship. I'm excited. Uh, I had a good final event at the Potomac River to qualify for this. Uh, I came in seventh, top ten. Bit. The other two were on the St. Lawrence and Lake Champlain. They were mediocre, nothing great. I had to have one good day, and then the other day I'd be just average. And I think I finished in like 50th in one and 60th in the other. But that top seven at uh, the Potomac got me out here to a lovely Table Rock where I am now in the rain. Um, it's going to be cold. It's been warm the last week here just watching the weather from back home. Uh, 70s, 80s. Today is a high of 50. We're going to get an inch of rain and tonight goes down to 30. Tomorrow morning, more rain. Rains all day again tomorrow. I think another half inch of rain. Um, so I'm going to be wet the next two days. We have four days of practice for this. So these first two days, I'm kind of just spending a lot of time. I'm just kind of graphing around, idling, looking at my Lawrence units here, you can see. Uh, and what I want to do is just figure out where bait is, uh, maybe a couple brush piles. Like we just went over one here. I'll show you real quick. See that brush pile right there? It's got a nice couple fish in it. It's a big one. So that sort of stuff. Um, just going to keep marking all I can and try to... Uh, hopefully put together a good little pattern have uh, some ideas of what I want to do but it's gonna be four days of practice so it's gonna be get colder as we go along too that's the other thing the nights are gonna be down in the 20s for I believe two, man, Monday night Tuesday night and maybe even Wednesday night into Thursday so it's gonna be a cold one but that's all right we'll get it all dialed in from the north don't care about that Give me a wet one too. I'll keep you updated. I'll show you some maybe uh, some hopefully a couple fish pictures. I don't know how much fishing I'll actually do today with this rain here, but um, yeah, stay tuned. Eee, not a big one, but fish number one. Throw a little A-rig through some uh, bait. Got this guy. See what else we can find. Oh man, it's been a long wet day. We just got one now. Let's see it. Maybe our first keeper. Got a little spotted bass. They gotta be 15 inches here. Throw them on the board. Whew. Just over. We got our first keeper. It's a slight miracle. Let's see if we can see him. There you go. 15 and a half. <laughs> got that one on a drop shot. Get some in some standing timber. I'll show you here in a second, but. We'll get him back into the water. Goodbye to that fella. You can see that's some standing timber there. Some rocky banks. That's what they're kind of sitting on. Um, I can see them on my active target. They're down there. Just getting them to bite has not been easy. So I haven't done a ton of fishing with all the rain, but I've been running around a lot, checking things out. I'm going to keep doing that couple more hours a day but i am wet and i'm ready to get in before too much longer we'll get another hour or two all right i'll give you another update at the end of the day all right i'm headed out for day two of practice here on table rock i didn't give you the update at the end of the yesterday it was raining i got off the water a little bit early it was like probably 4 45 or so we could fish till 6 20 but i was very wet so it was, uh, i think it was 52 when i got off the water raining pretty much all day today it's not supposed to be raining right now until about noon which of course it's raining <laughs> um, so it's 42 degrees this morning i'm checking out a different section of the lake i'm going up to the shell knob area so i took a pretty good drive from where i'm staying at uh, about 45 minutes so i'm going to go out there do a bunch of running around look at my lawrence again try to identify a couple key areas that have hopefully some bait if not i'll write this area off I'm still going to try to make that offshore deal work. I want to go down there, take my Demiki rig, take that Z-Man send a jerk shad. That's what I'm going to try hanging in front of them. Get that down there, put it on there, get it right on their nose and see if we can't get a couple bites. But um, we're just going to kind of fish that section. I'll keep you updated. Like I said, it's not supposed to really start raining until about noon. So if I catch anything, I'll show it to you, show you what I'm catching it on and we'll go from there. But I'll uh, keep you posted. All right, a little bit mid-morning update here on day two of practice. Rain still hasn't come in yet, so that's not bad, but got us like a little keeper spotted bass. It's a chunky one. 
caught it on a spinner bait. Um, I'll show you this lay down that it's all it was on that little lay down right there. So it gives us a little bit of a clue what's going on, but solid, chunky. We're gonna keep working our way through here. Hopefully, pick up a couple more. I found a couple areas that got some good bait in it um, down towards the Kings River. So I'm gonna keep exploring this area. Maybe this will be the area I fish in the tournament. Maybe not. Um, we'll figure it out as we go throughout this day but it's pretty morning right now it's not too bad it's cold but i'm all right with cold all right i'll keep you updated all right the rain is back but the fish are biting not a big one got them on the glide bait though so that's pretty cool it's my one my buddy keith makes muscle hamster black town custom wars good stuff um i've had now probably 10 bites on this thing. Um, one was a two and a half that landed. A bunch of them were hitting with their mouth shut. We got this overcast, cloudy, rainy days. These are days they like to eat this thing. I'll be interested to see what happens come um, probably, was it Monday and Tuesday of practice when it gets sunny, we're gonna have this post frontal deal, high pressure, cold temperatures, bright sun. Um, see if we can keep this bite going, because we can. <laughs> this could get special this is my favorite way to catch them this time of year when it's tough hopefully we can get some three four pounders in it give us a shelf a shot but we're gonna keep exploring still up that king's river we're gonna uh, kind of keep working our way back and see what else we can find i'll keep you posted oh keeper almost 16 inches all right the rain stopped I've got a little brush pile deal going, but I got this spotted bass here. Not the biggest one in the world. He's not a keeper. I do need to show you this. Let's see if we can do this. Look down his throat. That is a big old crayfish. You can see the antenna. You can see the claw. I'm not going to pull it out. I'm going to let him keep his meal. But, uh, yeah. We're catching some fish here. we got a little bit of something going on. Through that glide bait, some brush bites. I'm not going to say I'm going to win the tournament with this, but we're getting some, getting some bites that we... Uh, Maybe we can keep building on this, so keep going, keep you posted, but let's toss this guy back. All right, wrapping up day number three of practice, and gotta say, it was a gold one. Um, see my head, had a beanie on all day, and it was definitely, um, a little bit trying it was cold <laughs> i got up this morning my boat was just frozen the boxes were all frozen and just everything was icy it was uh 30 degrees warmed up to a baby right now it's 44 so it was probably maybe 47 at the most <laughs> bite was not on so today i was down by the dam i'm um, thinking this post frontal that's high conditions high pressure conditions that came through probably kind of shut them down i could see fish on this um, active target and I was really just kind of doing a lot of offshore fishing, chasing bait balls, and really never got that going. I only caught two fish today. Um, I had one that was my biggest one so far of the week. It was a three pounder. Caught that on a big uh, soft swim bait, just rolling that around the, some bluffy walls. This sucker, it was a big largemouth, came up and smoked it. It wasn't actually on the shallow side. It was sitting out off, and I watched it come up and eat it. So it was kind of sitting more of that, probably, I would say, 15 foot range maybe 20 um then went hours without another bite and at the end i caught one on a glide um a little probably six or seven inch bait it's a black talent custom lures i think i might have showed you that yesterday um it's that muscle hamster that one it's been getting bit i'll be curious to see tomorrow i think i'm going back up the rivers see what's going on up that way kind of give me either some confidence in what I'm doing, making that long run for day one of the tournament on Thursday, or I'm going to kind of write it off and stay close. So we'll see. I haven't made my decision up yet, but um, nice night. Ready to get back out there again tomorrow. It's gonna be cold, but we'll bundle. All right, I'll talk to you again soon. All right, final day of practice here on Table Rock. You can see we is pretty foggy. We, uh Put in, gonna sit here a little bit, maybe idle back in this creek a little bit, do a little fishing right locally here, but 30 degrees out, everything's frozen. You can see right there, it's icy. So, 
we're gonna see what happens try to get out there put together a pattern i got an area i want to go check out we're gonna go from there all right stay tuned all right wrapping up practice here on table rock had a pretty good day um caught a lot more fish i launched it in ants creek today and then i ran around and went up to um not the james the white fished in that section a lot um and did decent i had let's see probably eight keepers today some spots it's catching them on a jigging spoon out in the middle live scoping with my active target and then um i was also doing a little bit of um fishing up shallow i caught a 471 big largemouth on a glide bait here at the end the last probably 45 minutes today so that was pretty cool like a big large mouth um i had another one on a glide bait today that was probably 16 inch right away but it was a solid two something probably two and a quarter two and a half um had another big one on the glide bait come up and hit it twice on two different casts back to back so that was um promising so i'm probably gonna throw that glide bait a lot i'm gonna do that in the morning i'm gonna go burn some bank with it i got a couple channel swings i think are going to be producing a little um, transition areas little points that sort of stuff and then after that i am going to probably go out and do the deep deal go out there try to find them on the bait um i have not caught any big ones doing that i've had some solid i would say two and a quarter to like two and three quarters i haven't landed on any of those big fish yet but after this practice um, i'm pretty pretty happy um, better than my 2016 practice here for the toyota series championship i can promise you that so go out there do it again thanks for watching um, i'll post some videos of a recap of what happened and i'll talk to you guys again soon all right see ya